Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> well, let's talk about what this crazy fool's gonna make tonight. <laughs> something a little crazy, something a little sideways. We're gonna take uh, some ground pork. We're gonna take some Italian sausage. We already got the uh, spaghetti squash cooking up in the oven to uh, do it. We're gonna take some little tomatoes here. We're gonna take some celery. We got uh, some green onions. And uh, got something a little different. Some wild wonder peppers. These are supposedly sweet peppers. So we're going to chop all this up, cook it all down together, and uh, make stuffed spaghetti squash. So y'all hang on. It's going to get real wild in here. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Got all the goodies in the bowl here. Got uh, a little bit of the yellow pepper, uh, the whole red pepper. Got uh, half tomatoes, got uh, cut up the green uh, onions, and uh, down at the bottom we thin sliced the uh, celery so it'll cook up real nice and quick with everything else. So, to this, we're going to do something real basic with this. We're going to add uh, some honey garlic. We're going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning. Oop, there we go. Uh, and then uh, the only other things we're going to do is throw in a little bit of that uh, <clears throat> new pink uh, sea salt that, uh, that Mama got. And uh, some salt and some up there, 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 pepper. And uh, that's going to be about it. We're not going to do a whole lot of spices on this one. Um, I might throw a little bit of that fresh garlic in, maybe a teaspoon of it while I'm cooking up the uh, <clears throat> Italian sausage. So uh, we'll hit that next and get it all combined and cooked up. And about that time, the uh, uh, first run of the uh, spaghetti squashes, that's what I didn't say at the beginning is we went ahead and cut those in half, gutted them, <clears throat> flipped them upside down, stuck them on a cookie sheet. I'll show you once they come out of the oven. Uh, set them in to cook for, how long did you put them in for, babe? 45 minutes? Put them in for 45 minutes. What'd you put them in? 375. So 45 minutes to 375. That should cook them most of the way through. Once we have uh, the ingredients here cooked up in the frying pan, We'll flip the bad boys over, stuff them, throw cheese on top of them, maybe sprinkle them with a little bit more uh, pepper and salt, stick them back in the oven, and let them cook for probably another 10, 15 minutes to get everything real nice and incorporated, and then we'll be good to go. Now, somebody told me that we could uh, add pepperoni to this, and it would add a nice blend into everything with the uh, spaghetti squash. Unfortunately... Uh, I was coming back from my chiropractor's uh, appointment, and I uh, didn't think about it. Uh, stopped to get something for Mama. Um, didn't think about it, and came here. So we're going to be doing it without the pepperoni this time. Such is life. We'll try it first and see how it comes out. Then we'll play with it a little bit later. All right, uh, stand by. Here comes more. All right, back to the frying pan cam. So you got the sausage in here. And... Note, uh, like I said, it's one package of Italian, sweet Italian sausage, one package of uh, ground pork. Uh, you can do the mix and match like that, it's not a problem. Just make sure that the uh, Italian sausage you're doing is pork based and not beef based. If you're going to add pork sausage in, not a good idea to cross mix the two when you're trying to cook them together. Bad juju. Uh, but Get these uh, ground up, and I'm shortly going to add the uh, veggies into it. Get all this off of here. Waste not, want not. Let's start cooking up. I'll move it around. Now this one you're going to want to, as you brown it up, you're going to want to break it up real good. Because you want it to be smaller not bigger chunks like we did with uh, that tater tot or whatever the one we did where we had bigger chunks damn if I can remember had so many things going on so many different recipes we've done I can't keep them all straight so. Ooh, yeah. well baggy alright yeah, yeah. A little bit of the Italian. Oh, that is my dog's going nuts. Just a good one. And honey garlic. Mm. 
do. And I'm gonna do half a teaspoon. Well, most of a teaspoon, there you go. Take salt. That's in. There you go. Shake it, shake it, shake it with the pepper. That's in. And last but not least, and haha, yeah, you knew it was coming. The garlic. Not a big one, just a regular little block this time. You don't overpower this one. Although we are going to take a little bit of the garlic oil and then drop it in there. Just for shiggles. Alright, listen to that sizzle. little sizzle for shizzle. And there you go. Celery got away from me there. So the dog will get it. And I'll start breaking this up. You can see Mama Duck behind me here for a second. As you can hear the squashes is going off. Clear a little spot for her to be able to put those up here. A little longer. Okay. All right, so you're going to have to hold off and just be stuck with me in the stuffing can for a minute. Mama says I need to go a little bit longer. So, and mix all this up together. That smells good. All right. So I'm bring the chopper back in. Chop the veggies up a little bit more too, it ain't gonna hurt anything. <clears throat> the finer it is, the easier it is to spoon in and fill up all the cracks and crevices. Not that there's gonna be a whole lot of them in those uh, spaghetti squashes. Yeah, buddy. It's gonna be good. That's one thing I am doing is probably killing the tomatoes, but you know. Side. All goes to the same place. That's all good. Alright. Let's clear this off again. La, 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 la. Let me get that chopped up. God. One of those times when I wish you guys had smell of vision. This is just brutal. <laughs> I'm going to dive into it right now. Mm. And we're not cooked yet. Whew. That smells good. There you go. Just keep breaking the pieces up. Sausage up as you get to them and you find the bigger ones. Up. Mom will be over here sniffing in a minute. Silver overboard. And rescue float. All right, you notice there's not a whole lot of liquid in here. You don't want a whole lot of liquid in this. Have to be a little on the drier side. Dad, look at that, look at that. You know what? I think I'm going to do one more thing with this. I'll add a little bit of frozen chopped spinach. Uh -oh. 
I don't know why I'm just feeling it. Spread that around. Not too much of it. Just uh, enough to give it a little flavoring. And I believe we're well, about to take care of everything. Let's get these big pieces down here to thaw out at the bottom. Then we'll shut this down and let it cook for a few minutes while the squash is finished. And we'll come back and show you what, uh, what it looks like finished. We'll combine it all together, stuff it back in the oven, cook it for another uh, 15 minutes or so, and uh, be ready to uh, plate it on up. All right, y'all. Now you can see we got the uh, <clears throat> stuffing all done up here. That's ready to go. Uh, we got the uh, spaghetti squash uh, out of the oven. Here's where it gets interesting because we got to flip these bad boys over, and days a little on the hot side. So, flip. Oh, look at that. That actually went fairly easily. Surprise, surprise. I'm right, we'll right over here. Do this one the other way. So I'll flip it off the oven. That would suck. Ugh. So, only three of us, but, you know, if this turns out all right, I wouldn't mind having a little lunch tomorrow, you know? So, put this one, oh! Yeah, and I'm sure I could be holding on to it with a hot pad and whatnot. Uh, actually, the tray's not too hot. That's not bad. Flip! All right, little buggers. Woo! Little testy, little testy. Ah, a couple of these, woo! It'll be deeper than others. And <clears throat> you just go ahead and leave the stove on because these are going right back in there. So you just take and scoop and take and scoop and take. And did I mention and scoop? I'm going to try and pack it on down in there. I think we're going to do another little scoop. Uh-oh. Sausage overboard. Don't lose the sausage. Sausage is good for you. All right. Here we go. Now this one's a little shallower. So it's probably going to take maybe two scoops. All right. Two and a half. Again, remember... Stuff them in. Pack that stuff in there. Pack it, pack it, pack it, pack it. Pack it, pack it. A little bit more. There we go. Look at that, look at that. Mm, don't do so good. Bam. That's going to be the king of all ones here. I'll tell you what. Oh, la la. You make stuff so good and strange. Yeah, well, you know, it's fall. And fall is pumpkin time. It's also squash time. So, what the hell? Do some stuff a little, a little on the different side. All right, now more sausage. Go overboard. Yep, get up there. I didn't tell you you could run away. Stop it. Son of a bit, bit, son of a bit, 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 son of a gun. Those little suckers trying to run. Oh, yeah. We have a little bit left over. I'll talk to the missus. Maybe we can uh, split that between the dogs. All this stuff ain't none of this bad for them, I don't think. So I don't know a whole lot about these other peppers, but they're kind of like... Poblanos and uh, bell peppers, if you look at them. Actually, I was a little nervous about putting both packets of the sausage in. I thought that uh, that and what I put together might be a little bit much, but you know what? Looking at this, other than the sausage bits that keep going AWOL on me, looks like we got some left to go around. We want to add, we'll mound this one up a little bit more. What the hell? It's almost Thanksgiving. 
Ik geef van wat is. Dat is pretty damn good. Alright, let's get the cheers on there. Do mozzarella and a little bit of cheddar. So, why? Because I can. Uh, mozzarella should go real good with it. It's a, it's a mild cheese. It's got a low melting point. It's gonna melt over the top of this and add just a right little bit. You see, I got my two cheese hounds here. Doing a, doing a baby bird thing tonight, huh? What you doing? Make a little bit of cheese. All right, well, hold on. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but this baby bird, say peep. There you go, say peep, peep. That's a good girl. Cheese, say peep, peep. There you go. My two little baby birds. Just like dropping it in their mouth and know before you go, oh, we touched the dogs. No, I didn't. <clears throat> Actually, drop it into their mouths, never touch them. No dog saliva goes on human food ever. That's just nasty. I did not want to finish this mozzarella with a bag of matzo off. I have enough to uh, fried egg in the morning. We'll see. Alright. That's enough matzo. Is that a Shredder of cheddar. Oh. I'm going to pop these bad boys back in the oven for another 15 minutes to finish their cooking and set up. See, just a little bit. Just a hint, a snip, if you will, of the cheddar. Don't do a whole lot. We do a whole lot of cheese in here. It's going to melt all over the pans. Mama will kick my bouquet. We're trying to get cheese off these things. It's easier, put it this way, it's easier to scrape the chrome, uh, finish off a trailer hitch than it is to get the damn cheese off these pans. But sometimes you gotta break an egg to make an omelet. So, what for you guys and for posterity, I will take the hit. All right, so these are all set at this point. They're just going back in the oven and uh, be in for 15 minutes. That should melt all the nice cheese over the top of it and everything without browning it up and, and really burning it. Um, and then, damn, we'll be ready to throw down. Well, holy hot potato horse shit, folks. They be done. And uh, if I do say so myself, they look pretty damn tasty. So, although this uh, may be the last uh, you see of me for a little bit, we got some cheese arc welded onto the pans, and uh, <clears throat> I don't think Misty's going to let me out of the kitchen until I get this stuff uh, <laughs> taken off the pans. Uh, you can kind of see a little bit of it off to the side there. Yeah, country going to be doing some dishes for a little bit, yeah. But first, we chow down. I'd show you this plated up, but they're really not going to look any different between what you see them right now, except it'll be on a plate. So uh, this is it, folks. Stuffed spaghetti squash. Manger. Enjoy.